All right, Dan Brock, the Deadbeat Super Affiliate here. Today, I'm going to share a trick with you to help you get approved with all kinds of affiliate networks out there. So we're going to, for, so in this live stream, we're going to talk about, uh, oh man, off day today. So along with that, we're also going to talk about some Q and A, some live affiliate marketing Q and A. So while the live stream warms up, uh, I'll just kind of like adjust my settings here. Man, this is going to be a rough one today. So let's see, sound. Just got to make sure my Yeti mic's turned up here. Okay, we're good. All right, so if you don't know me, I'm the world's laziest online super affiliate. So I've been doing affiliate marketing for uh, since 2009, and I've been members of pretty much every major affiliate marketing network out there. And today I'm gonna talk about the tricks that can help you, if you're a beginner, get approved. So before we start, let me just give some shout outs. We got uh, Akshay, how you doing? Uh, San, uh, San Yvonne, how's it going? Terry, Free77Max, good to see you. J uh, Jake Pack, we got Justin. Steady in time. We have Peter, Marco. How's it going? Good to see you. Uh, um, Amine, how you doing? Says he's a big fan uh, <laughs> of the Art of Snore. That's one of my affiliate sites. Uh, how's it going? Thank you. We got Alvin. We got Armand. How's it going? Uh, we got Ope. We got Marco. We got Alex. We got uh, Dima Knight. We got William. We got Muriel. Wow, a lot of people on today. All right, so uh, we're going to start. If you want to just jump to the actual training, we're going to jump to the, about the three-minute mark or so. That's when we'll start. Right now, I'm just warming everybody up. Uh, see how it's going today. Man, like a couple days off, I'm already a little rusty. We got uh, D uh, Reefer. Re D Reager. <laughs> D Reefer. <laughs> we got D Reager. Uh, Vishal. We got Phil. We got... Uh, Knighton, sorry if I'm butchering names here, guys. Uh, let's see here. We got fashionably how we got Mon. Wow, some interesting names today. Angie says, "Love that you're wearing the bathrobe. Thank you always with the bathrobe. I even take these to affiliate marketing events. I wear this at my uh, going on to like affiliate marketing events." Marco says, "Congrats on 90k. Thank you. We're gonna hit 100 pretty soon. Aiming for hopefully 100k by the end of October." We got Red. We got Red and Hirsch. We got Bit Buddy. We got uh, David. We got Braille. Braillein. Braillein. How's it going, Angie? We got man. A lot of people on. All right. So Diamond Knight says, "Claim you make 100k a month. You can't afford a decent camera." So this is just the the iMac. It's the new iMac 27 inch. This is just the camera that it comes with, like that little, that little. Uh, thing that's built in. That's what I'm using for the live streams. I guess I could buy a, uh, like an official live stream camera. I'm just too lazy. So like if you're like this camera right here was like two grand. So, you know, take that for what you want. Let's say, uh, more real says he's halfway through the deadbeat super affiliate system. Uh, that's cool. Good work. Stick with it. Let's see here. All right, three minute mark approaching. Here it is. All right, so today we're talking about how to get affiliate, approved for affiliate networks. So I always get some comments and some emails about uh, problems getting approved with Amazon and the various affiliate networks, like like you know, click, uh, Commission Junction. That's one I'm, I work pretty uh, a lot with. Uh, various health affiliate networks that I work with. So I'm actually a member of a lot of third party affiliate networks. So these are typically smaller networks. And believe it or not, those are harder to get approved for than the, the more mass market ones like Amazon, ClickBank, all those are relatively easy to get approved with. So if you're having trouble with either of these, here are some tips for you. So basically here, here's the thing that affiliate networks are worried about. This is why the approval process for some of them is pretty strict. They're essentially just worried about affiliate fraud. So what that means is if people will sign up for affiliate networks and then they'll buy a, a batch of stolen credit cards online for cheap and then they'll run orders through their affiliate link using those fraudulent cr credit card numbers so what will happen is if if the affiliate network pays out the money before the chargebacks come in the affiliate network is essentially out money so they're worried about people gaming the system so that's why they have a, a, stri a relatively strict approval process I'm speaking more about the smaller ones so bigger networks like Amazon have all kinds of automated fraud features in place. So it's a little bit easier to get approved for those. The smaller ones do not though. So some tips to help you get approved. This is essentially what they're looking for. 
They want people that have an existing expertise. So if you have skills with SEO or pay traffic or Facebook advertising or you're a YouTube ninja, if you have some kind of specific knowledge and you talk about that, they are more likely to approve you in the approval process. Another thing that they're really looking for is influence. So do you have any kind of influence? Do you have a following? Another thing they want is also do you have existing traffic assets? So someone just commented they just got rejected by Max Bounty. So yeah, that was one of the first networks I, uh, I uh, applied with. I had no existing assets. Um, and I'll, I'll talk about what I said to get approved. So basically they want people that have stuff or they have some kind of passion, uh, knowledge, and some way to back it up. So you need to have existing assets. So if you're having trouble getting approved, and this is not 100% of the time, but you need to build up some kind of blog, some kind of social following first in order to get approved. So it's kind of like this chicken or the egg thing. And like I said, this is not 100% of the time. Sometimes you can just put in your application and you can get approved. But what you should do is pick your niche, build a small following, and spearhead your, your approval process through that following first. So once you're approved, you can then branch off into any niche that you want to on that network. So uh, it's harder at first, and then you can kind of um, you know, spearhead that way. Now here's the trick. If you're brand new, this is what you're gonna want to do. Sign up for the network, and usually after you sign up, in the email they say, hey, we're, we're going over your approval process. Here is an, your affiliate manager contact. They're gonna get in contact with you pretty shortly. So what you're gonna do is grab that phone number and call them up. So call them up, talk to them on the phone. I know that's like scary and all, but if you talk to them on the phone, you're much better, more, much more likely to get approved because you know that there's, if, they t if you call up someone that you're more likely to be legitimate. Now, if you don't have existing assets, you can say, um, just say that you have a specific skill. So if you're good at SEO, talk about, yeah, I've, I've learned a lot about SEO. I'm pretty good at getting things ranked. You know, hopefully that's true. Uh, you're saying I can get things ranked and that's my, my primary skill set. So what I plan to do or what I'm going to do is I'm going to build up a, a niche campaign in that market. It should take me about a month or so to get it rolling. And I'm going to promote your specific offer entirely on my website. So the website's going to be www.whatever.com. You're going to, of course, you're going to want to put some kind of page up there. You can say something like, I already have a few pieces of content. I know it's just starting, but I have all, I've already invested X amount of money in this campaign. It's going to grow pretty quickly. So I appreciate it if you could just look over my app, application and uh, approve it. So essentially what you're doing is you've got to have to sell yourself to, to the manager. So even if you're new, if you have something existing, you're going to want to play that up and say, you know, I, I have about two to three hundred dollars I've invested in content. I have some videos on the way. I'm building a YouTube channel and I really want to feature this specific offer on my website. So just check it out. Here are a few of my links here. You can see that it's the following starting to build up. I got some subscribers. I know I'm in the beginning stage, but I'm passionate about this niche and I know that I'm going to make it happen. All right. So they're looking for confidence. They're looking for assets and they just want to make sure that you're not going to steal money from them. That's the main thing. All right. So hopefully uh, you guys heard what I said. I don't know. My microphone seems to be dying out here. So let's see here. Uh, Terry Stone says, I was surprised that I got approved by HostGator. Yeah, they're, if you have some assets, um, they'll, they're pretty easy to get approved with. Okay. Uh, so just to give you some ideas of some, some of the smaller but higher quality networks, anything on CJ.com, you have to get individually approved for each offer on there, but CJ.com has some great offers, tons of them. So there's all kinds of good stuff. I I've really haven't had much of a problem getting approved. All you do is show them an existing site. So all you need is like three to five pieces of content. That's good enough to get approved majority of times. Another one is Flex Offers. They have some decent ones, decent offers in there. Flex Offers, Those, that's a network I found at Affiliate Summit. So flexoffers.com, they call you up. They call you up and run you through some questions. So flexoffers.com is pretty good. Uh, let's see, some other ones that you might wanna consider, of course, the Amazon Affiliate Network, that's always great. Um, there's health affiliate networks. These are a little bit more difficult to get into, but they're worth it if you can get in. So something like sellhealth.com, market health uh, is another one. Peerfly is another good one. So people talk about that. Uh, that's worth checking out. That ha They're a little bit more strict, Peerfly. That's what I've noticed. Also, Max Bounty, that's another one. That's one of the first networks I got approved with. You have to talk to them on the phone or else they won't, uh, they won't approve you. All right, so get on the phone. Uh, that's... 
it only takes like 15 minutes, a little bit scary. I know everyone's afraid to talk on the phone. Uh, so it's worth checking out. All right, so let's jump into some questions here. So someone says too much light in the room. I think it's pretty good. What do you guys think? Is the lighting good? Mic's good. Hitting the table. Ah, oh, damn it. Ah, oh, I forgot. Let me stack up the mic. Eh, I gotta fix this. Yeah, Cash Network is pretty good. Let me uh, let me fix the mic here. I'm putting it on stacks, stacks of Benjamins here. Man, I keep forgetting about that. All right. You need like you need like a little pad buffer in there. All right. Let's see. Please, Abish Keck says, please do normal videos. Don't do live. I'll just, I'll pretty much just do whatever I feel like doing. This is what I feel like doing right now. So, uh, you know, take it or leave it. It's up, up to you. I, I do eventually plan to get back to the shorter ones. These are easier for me to do. And I can talk about topics that I can't typically talk about in the, the, the tutorial videos. So, uh, yeah. So, let's see. Let's see, let's go questions here. Uh, okay, so single says, I want some money. Anyone can help me out. No one's going to help you out. You're on your own. That's the way the world works. No one's going to say, here's some free money. It's up to you. Change the mindset, man. I know it's coming from a deadbeat, but if you want some money, you've got to go out there and get it. Man, I guess I'm in a grouchy mood today. <laughs> okay. Uh, this is a good question. Uh, a mind says, what do you think about promoting the new iPhone X? I would say if you were able to get in about two to three months before the launch, you'd probably have a better, a better chance. Now it's probably a little bit too late. You could try, you know, try to go from, for keywords like accessories, cases, all that stuff. Uh, you know, my, uh, microphones for iPhone X, um, lenses for iPhone X. You might have a better chance making content about that. Let's see. <sighs> Just got, uh, okay, so Rev Derek Adams, man, a little rough day today. Whew. So, uh, Reverend Derek Adams says, just got into this. What is the best place to start? I think affiliate marketing is the best place for beginners. Reason why is it lets you just learn the, the ropes. Basically, all the internet comes down to making money on the internet is getting traffic and converting that traffic into sales. So it doesn't matter your, your method of, of monetization. It could be just getting traffic and sending it to e-commerce products. It could be selling your own products. It could be selling products as an affiliate. It could be... Um, uh, Cost per lead submit, so you can get paid just for getting people to enter their email address. It's all the same. It's essentially it boils down to getting traffic and making sales. So the reason why I like affiliate marketing is you don't have to worry about all the stuff like customer support, um, delivering products, uh, all that stuff. So you don't have to worry about creating products. That's a lot of work. So affiliate marketing, there's existing stuff you can just learn from there. So if you want to start, I do have free guides. You can, I think my free guide is deadbeatuniversity.com/guide. Or if you want to get right in, just get my Deadbeat Super Affiliate System. That'll give you a huge head start. Uh, there's a link below. It's deadbeatsuperaffiliate.com. Uh, let's see here. Michael, Michael Ambler says, I can go hang out with a sign at the grocery store for 2000 per month, so don't ask for money. If that's what if that's what you want to do, then go ahead. Let's see. Nick Nicholas says, "Do you have a website for most affiliate marketing sites?" Yeah, I have a site for every campaign that I start. Uh, that's the bare minimum bare minimum requirement. Jonathan says, "How many YouTube channels do you have?" I have four, four of them. The other three are health in health markets. I don't and I don't appear in camera on those. Danny says, do you SSL your website? Uh, it just depends. Some I do, some are don't. It just depends on what's going on. Like if I'm collecting information, I'll typically secure that. If it's just an affiliate site, I don't. I don't secure, I don't secure that. 
Oh, by the way, does anyone get in any results with my Deadbeat Super Affiliate System? If so, I have, uh, I'm, I, I, I just like to, I'm building up this wall of proof. Let me just, I got a, some good testimonials yesterday, two days ago. Hold on. I think it's there. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's see, where are we? Check these out. Got a couple, couple new ones in. I got one from Nick, uh, uh, I think it's Kiney, Nick Kiney. He sent me a video the other day. I'm going to publish that. He, he's actually doing pretty well. Uh, he started affiliate marketing. He's 17. That's impressive. I really do admire anyone that's young starting out. That's what you want to do. The way I see it, if, if you're coming up in this era of your millennial, especially the younger people, you got to take your, you got to take your, uh, take Control, you, know, you have to take your destiny in your own hands. That's not the right saying. What's the saying? You have to, uh, um, your, you know, your, your destiny is in your hands. Younger millennials, you're going to have to develop that entrepreneurial spirit. Um, Nick's doing pretty well now, starting with my Deadbeat Super Affiliate System. He says he's getting daily sales. He's aiming for, um, he sent me a video, so I, I know uh, it's not on here, but he says he's aiming for six figures a year by the time he's 18. So Nick's getting results. got one from Noaim. Uh, I, I showed one of his he sent me a video, um, I think it was beginning of 2017. He is killing it right now. I don't know if you can, ah, oh, damn it. I can't, I can't get it to show up. Check out the, just check out my, uh, my Facebook page. It's facebook.com slash deadbeat super affiliate. He's now pulling in. I can't get the thing to scroll down. It's stuck. Uh, but he's now pulling in. Hold on, let me try to adjust here. Okay. You can see here in the bottom left, he's now pulling in like two to $400 days following my Deadbeat Super Affiliate System. So it's working for a lot of people, it's work, it works for me. If anyone's getting results, do you mind just commenting? I just wanna see where everyone's at. Uh, let's see here, let me just jump back on. A little rough today, guys, sorry. This, this, this live stream thing is like a, a depreciating skill. It goes down quick. Uh, let's see here. Marco says he's 19, hoping to hit the, the six-figure mark in two to three years. You could probably do it faster if you really, um, since you're young. If you're, as long as your mind's clear, it's, uh, I think you'll be all right. Uh, Corey Rollins says, do I have a course on Google AdSense marketing? That's not one of my main, that's not one of my main sales. Uh, I mean, my main skills. Uh, I only, I've only made side income with Google AdSense. All right, Ronald Lewis says, I got my first sale yesterday with the deadbeat theme. Congrats, Ronald. Everyone say congrats, Ronald Lewis. Ronald just made his first sale. That's always the best. I, I still remember my first sale on Amazon, 53 cents. That's what it was. Best feeling in the world. So Ronald Lewis made his first sale with the deadbeat super affiliate system. Ronald, do you mind just jumping on my Facebook page and uh, commenting that? Just say what you, if not, no big deal, but... There's a pin post up there. I just sent the link. And there's a pin post. Dan, I've uh, Armand's freaking out. He's not getting results. Armand, did you just start like four, like four days ago? You gotta have a little bit of patience. Some people, some people are able to make it happen. It's just there's so many variables involved. I talked about that in my previous video. Um, I think you just need to have a little bit more patience. Uh, free seven seven max says with just affiliate marketing you could really make six figures. Dan, that seems without your own product. If you had a course, maybe. No, you can totally make six figures a year with affiliate marketing without. You don't even need. You don't even need a mailing list. I mean, it's it, there's so much money out there. It's freaking ridiculous. You're, it's it's hard to really. You know, we're used to this brick and mortar mentality. I guess the internet's so dang big. All you need to do is, let's say, just find an affiliate product that is like a $50 payout, just do running the math. All you need to do is make 2,000 sales. Just think about that. Let's say you have a, a market that is, wait, what's, where's my camera? Okay. Let's say you're in a, a market that has a million searches per month. Two th getting 2,000 people to buy something in an entire year, $50 payout, that's six figures. That's so easy to do. It doesn't, it doesn't sound like it when you're a beginner, you're like, man, I gotta make 2,000 sales. 2,000 sales is not difficult after the initial, after you get through the initial learning phase, 2,000 sales is cakewalk, in my opinion. Now, you know, beginners probably going to, uh, 
disagree with that, but it just takes a little bit of time. Uh, Study in Time says, do you need a website to get approved for most places, or can you just have a YouTube channel and Instagram account? Uh, it it's always helps to have your own website. I know that people are scared about that. You can make a website in less than a day if you, if you really hunker down. So you can try to get approved with just a YouTube channel, but it's worth... Uh, it's worth having the, it's worth having wow man it's worth having the, your own site oh excuse me god I'm like sick I'm just tired Whew. okay so Nish, Nisham says is there an age for being an affiliate uh no you can do any any age you want oh man uh, just uh you might have to get your your parents to help you I think you can just sign up. No one's ever asked me my age when I sign up. Uh, Titan says, stop making money, go to the doctor. <laughs> yeah, I need to go to the doctor right now. Yeah, so studying time, studying time says, does a website give you more uh, credibility? Yeah, absolutely. That's why you want your own site. And you can, of course, get traffic, which is the most important. Arvind, Arvind says, does affiliate marketing matter what country that we're in? Uh, it doesn't matter. Some, some networks are a little bit strict, but there are plenty of networks out there that will let you in. Armand, Armand, dude, check your email. I had my guy reach out to you. He, I, I looked at the emails. They've all been responded to. I don't really know what the problem is. So just check it out. Um, uh, he, he reached out to you. I don't know what's going on. Edgar says, uh, Tim Timothy Cook says, what are the best niche markets? Uh, anything health, hobby, passion, money, all those are proven markets. Three seven seven Max says even for Ebates, I I read the little scriptures and it seems that it seems you got to be in the U S to get your commissions. Uh, no, that's not true. There's people in all kinds of countries making money. They they will usually send you a wire or a check. Uh, which is better, website or YouTube channel to promote an affiliate product? Um, each one is just as good. I I personally like YouTube. It's just it's more fun for me. You can get traffic from any way you want, website or YouTube. Oh man, this is just a rough day today. Titan Solaris says, what do you think about the web hosting affiliate niche? Is it saturated? Conversion rates are low. Um, did you try it? Do you have any results for, for to share? Yes, yeah, so that's another great market. Anything to do with webmaster, any webmaster related thing like WordPress themes, web hosting. Um, tracking services, all those are great. John Padilla says, just by listening to these live chats, I've implemented the techniques and have raised $3,000 in two days. Nice, John. Do you mind commenting on my YouTube channel? I mean, my Facebook page about that? If you can, that would be sweet. If not, no big deal. Just a sentence or two, whatever, you know. Congrats, by the way. Everyone say congrats to Johnny's banking. Yeah, so some people, the way this works is some people, all they will do is just sit and watch. And there's nothing wrong with that in the sense that you're going to learn. But some people will take one small tip and run with it and make thousands of dollars. That's just the way it works. So for those of you just sitting around watching, you know, start doing stuff. All, all it takes is one little sentence of, of, uh, of an idea and you can turn it into money. Uh, Glock22 says, what about gun parts? I've actually looked in that niche not too long ago. I know ammo was pretty big. Ammo was a big one. So check that out. Um, there's a lot of affiliate programs for ammo. Uh, S Salman for Life says, Salman, Salman for Life says, is it possible I will fail in affiliate marketing after creating a website? Yeah, I mean, that's just the way any business is. You can fail. That's part of the process. 
There is no one that I know that has been successful who has not failed a bunch of times. The way I look at failing is you basically learn what not to do. And there, you know, so that's every failure, there's a lesson to learn. Like I fail plenty of times. You just keep going and just adjust. All of you, you make small adjustments. It's like tuning that dial, tuning that dial down. Failure helps you kind of figure out which one to tune. Nicholas says, I have to get a new laptop today. Uh, I mean, you, the, the good thing about affiliate marketing is you don't need like the best equipment. I made like a crap load of money on, where is it? I had a, it's like this 2010 laptop. I made a crap load of money on that. Marco says, do you think, uh, Dan, thinking about trying Pinterest as another traffic source for my website? Absolutely. Tri uh, Pinterest is great. Titan Solaris says, what is the biggest mistake you've made in affiliate marketing that we can all learn from? So I did a previous video talking about some of the big mistakes. The biggest mistake was as a beginner, the first niche that I went to went into was too competitive. Now, I eventually made money with that site. It just took too long to get into it. So I wouldn't even consider that a mistake because from that mistake, I learned about competition. How, what, 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 what exactly, what is that line of where the competition, what, what competition even means? Like, what does that mean? It means that if you pick the wrong niche, you're going to, it's going to be a few months before you even make your first sale. Now there's nothing wrong with that. Like if you, if you're really passionate about a, a competitive market, there might be some benefit for you to start with that. Um, also learn that focus is key and what I mean by that is the more confusing that your page is the less money that you're gonna make so as a beginner you typically have the idea of just like promoting a lot of crap because you think the more stuff that I promote the more money I'm gonna make it's actually the opposite so when you hone in your campaigns and only do one thing per page and learning how to do one thing really well that's when you start making the most money Chris says, Dan, for a YouTube channel, do you find it better to, pr to promote a digital product or an actual physical product? I've had success doing both. So you can make bank either way. So I promote a lot of health products in, in my other channels. Those are all physical. So those do pretty well for me. It really doesn't matter. It's just like the only difference is you're selling a different thing. Uh, Zach Kira says, how much time does it take to rank on Google? So the way it works is like YouTube properties, YouTube properties tend to rank quicker. So uh, Web2, any existing bigger properties, if you build off those, you can rank quicker. Uh, so you can rank in a matter of a, a couple days. That's why some people get results within a matter of days. You know, with my Deadbeat Super Affiliate System, we're just following the free stuff here. They're typically leveraging existing properties like YouTube. Uh, blogger, any of the web 2.0 sites like Weebly, Tumblr, all those rank a little bit quicker. Now, if you build your own blog, there's a, ben a benefit to that. First of all, you control the blog and it gets the, the traffic typically sticks around a lot longer. So you can get traffic for many years. It just takes longer when you focus on blogging uh, to get traffic. So that's why I recommend that you kind of do a little bit of both in the beginning. Nicholas says, thanks for all the info. It really helps. Glad I could help Nicholas. A little rough today. Man, it was a rough one. I can just feel it. I can feel it in my, my gut here. Um, the, rabbit, the Reddit rabbit says, do you need to be an expert in a niche in order to succeed? No, you don't need to be. Definitely not. More Real says, how much does your least earning site earn you daily? Uh, daily, I'm not sure. My a uh, couple hundred to two hundred dollars a month is like some of the lower ones. Hundred dollars a month. Reverse Magic says, "Can I start with a free site to promote?" I recommend that you start with your own website. Reason is, is that you can get your site shut down. A lot of questions about pay traffic. That's not really my. I'm not. I'm not the best at pay traffic. I'm more free traffic. Uh, free traffic guy. 
I am getting the paid traffic now though. So I don't I don't know enough yet to be able to teach anybody. Chris Chris Smith says I can't put eBay feeds into my sidebar. Um, I don't know why what the issue might be. Maybe the you, are you posting it in the HTML widget widget or plain text? Andrew says Mac or Windows. It doesn't really matter. Let's see here. Uh, Chris Chris says, "What app is best for doing video marketing?" I I personally just use Camtasia for the majority of my stuff. Uh, Doodly's pretty good. That's a good way to start with. Um, Doodly's a good way to start with whiteboard videos. I like that. Andrew says, "What was the point of giving twenty five dollars to Pootie Pie?" So I had him, uh, <laughs> I had, had him give me a shout. He, he gave me a shout out on one of his videos. Just I don't know, just to get a shout out. I thought it'd be cool. Timothy Cook says, "Do you have to write all the content on your website or hire writers?" Uh, I do both. Typically, I'll write like my biggest sales piece. So I typically write write, write the stuff that turns into sales. Then like all the free content, I have other people write. Studying Time says he bought the Traffic Blaster uh, program along with the Deadbeat Super Affiliate System. How to utilize it? So in the members areas, the video tutorials on how to use it. There's a tab on the right side. Chris Smith says, do I need to make videos to generate traffic? The answer is, I recommend doing video marketing, but you don't need you don't need to do it in order to get traffic. I have blogs that get 200 to 700 unique visitors per, per day. Don't hold back, says, why are you lazy with your customer support? I have a guy manning that 24-7. Or what email address are you emailing? If you email the if you email the support email in the program, you'll get you'll get a reply the same day. I don't know. Maybe you're like emailing some of my my. Um, I, mean, I don't even know where you're emailing. I'll look into it though. Can you tell me what email address you're emailing so I can just figure out what's going on? What's your? Can you tell me your email address so I can check it out? I have, I have my guy take a look. He's on right now. So just put, post me your email and I'll I'll uh, copy and paste and send it to him to check. Take a look. Maybe it fell through the cracks. The cracks, I don't know. Skin rash and skin itch gets tons of searches with low competition. You think it's profitable? I would check that out. Any kind of annoying thing, is to, any annoying health problem is typically a good niche market. Chris says, I really want to do boxing in an MMA niche. Is it too saturated? No. It's a good one. Jim Scott says, do you have any good advice for getting, uh, you're, you've given the students in the past to get them moving? I bought your system and like it, but make progress, then get distracted, and it's like starting all over. So that's only something you can help yourself with. You need to learn how to focus um, and not get distracted. Like there's literally nothing that I can tell you to help you with that. That is like an internal thing that comes with just keep pushing through. You have to continue to continue to push through. Andrew says, do I prefer Mac or Windows or laptop or desktop? I like desktops the best. I've made plenty of money on a laptop. Um, it's just, I don't really think it's that big of a, a big of a problem. 
For Hannah says, why are you ignoring my question? I'm trying my best here. I'm just getting, there's a ton of messages here. It's probably, it's probably just not landing in front of me in time. Oh, it's about the Instagram. Uh, I only, I only have a small Instagram following. I don't really know too much about Instagram at this time. I have only a very small following on it. So, I mean, I know a little bit, but not enough to, to be an authority on it. Uh, Raymond says, what do you think about kitchen furniture and cooking essentials? That's always a good market. Uh, Alien Wynn says, can I sub substitute my job with your Deadbeat Super Affiliate System? I have plenty of people email me, say they quit their job because of it. But obviously, like, I would recommend that you first start making a lot of money first before you quit the job. Or even better, if you, if you have the energy to do it, do both until you really get a grasp on the internet marketing thing. It takes some time, you know, like you don't want, I think the, the biggest mistake you can make is like, say your job, you're making 4,000 a month and your affiliate sites, you start making 4,000 a month and then you're like, okay, well I've replaced my job income, now I'm gonna quit the job. I would say don't quit until you make like two times the money from your affiliate sites before you quit the job. Now personally, I have always worked for myself, but this is like, this is like, well, this is my thing, you know? So I don't want you to just do what I did. So, you know, like this, this is like what I'm good at. So that's all I can really say. I, I don't want to just say, go quit your job. Cause that's, maybe that's not, you know, maybe that's not the best thing for you until you, you until you're making at least two times the money. The, the Reddit rabbit says, I'm about to buy your system. What should I expect? Um, I can put a, an average of two to three hours a day in this due to school. Is that enough to make money? Yeah, you can make money. Uh, well, like ten, legally, I'm not allowed to say you can, you can get any results. Like legally, I, I advertise the rules say that specifically, I can't promise you specific results. All I can say is look at the testimonials on my Facebook page, on my Debbie Super Affiliates, uh, Debbie Super Affiliate website. These are all real customers. So they're getting results. Some people only work in a couple hours a day. Personally, when I started out, I was working like three to four hours a day, per day to get it off the ground. But people have definitely gotten results working less. Right now, I'm working about an hour or two per day, making really good money. So I'm really good, like pretty much, there is no other way to make more money than what I'm making right now. So uh, yeah, that's, that's what I can say legally. Anonymous says, how much have I made online? I've made millions online over the years. Relax says, Dan, how do you get traffic from, to your websites? Uh, my, my, my primary methods are free traffic. So SEO is a big one. I always recommend you definitely learn at least uh, a general grasp of how SEO works. Video marketing is another big one. I like, do, I like to do a lot of video marketing. Bloggings work well for me. Uh, works well for me. I get two to 700 visitors per day on some of my blogs just from blogging. So Salmon, Salmon for Life says, I have no job and want to start affiliate, affiliate, but it needs investments. What should I do, Dan? Dan, should I get a job first? Yeah, so if you have no money, you need to get money. Uh, now, technically, you can start an affiliate campaign for less than 100 bucks. I mean, hosting runs you about, if you have coupons and stuff, you can get started for like $13 up front, 10 bucks a month after thereafter. So that's the bare minimum. Now... If that's all you have, you're gonna to have to spend a lot of time creating content, creating videos, um, marketing your sites on like forums and all that. That's a good way to get started for free. But uh, if you have no money, I suggest you do whatever you have to do to get that first hundred dollars. So if you have to sell your PlayStation, sell your PlayStation. If you have to sell, you know, your whatever, you know, if you have something that's worth money, you have to sell it. Sell it. I mean, get that money so you can start making more money. Do you just, that, that's a really, or get a job. You know, like that's the only options that you have. What's the best niche? Uh, anything, money, health, passion, all those are great. Uh, but by, by the way, if anyone's have, have any, uh, someone said they had emailed my support and then you get response. If you just send me, let me know your email address. I'll take care of that. I'll have my support guy look into it. He's manning the thing every day.
So, and I, I respond to emails too personally, but it's I get about 100, 150 messages a day. So I try to get them all. It's, it takes a lot. It's almost impossible. Salman for life says he's scared to start. I have money to start, but I'm scared to start. Scared to start. So you're gonna have to find. It takes courage to start your own business. So you're gonna have to find that. To start with something a small, a small step forward. Like you typing that here, there's nothing that I can tell you right now to just be like, yeah, like ball, ball up and do stuff. Like that's up to you. You're gonna have to figure out what what you to to make that first step forward. You're gonna have to just. This is like you have to tap into your internal will to do that. That's all you. So like sitting here watching me is not going to do it for you. There's nothing that anyone can tell you. That's an internal thing. That's how. That's how, that's part of becoming an entrepreneur. Is balling up. Kay Hurd says, does, does the better sleep niche uh, take a while to break into? I've personally had a, uh, that's one of my favorite health niche markets, like snoring, anything to do with like uh, teeth grinding, those are all good ones. You can get into that. I think those are pretty good. <laughs> Reverse Magic says, have you stopped making normal sleeping intro videos? I think you were talking about that one where I was asleep on the couch. You know, I pepper that in every once in a while. Someone says, listen to some Tony Robbins. Yeah, I listen to Tony Robbins every once in a while. Uh, Ray, uh, Raymond says, how long did it take you to make your first profitable site? Uh... I'd say it took about three months. This is a while ago I started, so the, the exact numbers might be off, but roughly it was like the three, the third to fourth month is how long it took me to make about $3,000 a month consecutively. Now that was messing up a lot in the beginning. Now, if you get my Debbie Super Affiliate System, it'll help you shorten that time frame down because I talk about all the stuff to do right. I started from scratch. I didn't know anything about affiliate marketing. So I made a lot of mistakes. Uh, so yeah, just, you know, it's part of the process though. Take notes says Dan, you get me so hyped. <laughs> That's funny. I'm like, so I'm so not high energy, but somehow I've seemed to get people hyped up. That's so funny. It's like a, hold on, let me, can I talk to my support guy real quick? All right, if anyone has any emails that might have fallen through the cracks, my, my guy's checking emails every day. But if you have any emails that fall through the crack, just let me know. I just sent some one over to him right now. I'm talking to him right now. Uh, Reverse Magic says AdSense first affiliate. Um, I'm more of an affiliate marketer. I, I think you can make more money that uh, make more money with affiliate marketing, especially if you're a beginner. Um, now people will argue that because I know many people that are just crushing it with AdSense. So it's, it's really just like what you focus on. I'm more, I like affiliate marketing more. AdSense has always just been like a little bit of a drip money. I don't really care too much about it. Jake Pack says you type really fast, Dan. Maybe that's one of the skills why I'm able to produce so much. I'm a fast typer. <laughs> Free 77 Max says, yeah, you make me hype too. Makes me want to start doing all the stuff. Big thanks to you, Dan. It's cool of you. Thank you, uh, Free 77 Max. Appreciate you. Uh, maybe I need to become like a motivational speaker or something. I'll, I'll walk out with my tube socks, my, my bathrobe, and I'll be like, you can live your dream. Let's see here. Yeah, so Glock27 says you have to get your mind right, get clear on what you want, focus and act. Yeah, so that's an internal process. Getting your mind right, I'm so big into that. I know people don't want to hear about that, but getting the right mindset is not like, Getting, getting the right mindset isn't just like, oh, now I'm going to think the right mindset. Yeah, now I'm going to make all this money. I believe I can be a millionaire. I'm going to do it. Like, it, it doesn't really work like that. Building the right mindset is, is almost like a slow investment in yourself. What I mean by that is it takes daily action every single day to do 
positive stuff every day. And, and, uh, that's, it, it takes courage. It takes, um, consistency and what else does it take? And you gotta kind of have to separate yourself from all the other crap that can bring you down. Like there's so much stuff out there that can crush your mindset. It's so easy to get your mindset crushed. Uh, I've had it happen before. It is a, they say like one negative thing is more powerful. Like one day of negativity is more powerful than 16 days of building yourself up. So just keep that in mind. Like that's how easy it is to, to throw that off. Uh, Connor says, Connor Gibson says, I'm broke. Can you send me your course for free? No, it doesn't work like that. Like why everyone else, it's $17. Like you're literally like how many, how many things per day do you spend $17 on without even thinking about it? Like seriously, it's called, you got to invest in yourself. Like how, I bet you right now, like one pack of cigarettes is what? Nine bucks and two beers. You do that. People do that every single day without even batting an eye at $17 is too much to invest in yourself. Like, I, I don't mean to be too hard on you, but it's just like, like come on, 17, like one, one, one single $17 book can make you a freaking billionaire. So like, how is it so hard to like, do what you got to do to get the money? I mean, it's funny cause we, 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 we do, like I do this too. So I'm not, I'm not like, here I am from this position of, uh, power or whatever this, the, this position of authority. Like I waste money like everyone else. But it's funny how when it comes to just spending like $20, $100 invest in yourself, it's like this, you're like, oh God, like I, I need to, I need to like read the reviews. I need to, I need to do all my research. Yet we just blow it every day. Money like that without even thinking about it. It's funny how that is too. <laughs> yeah. Connor says, I suppose you're right because I actually smoke too. You know, you know, like how much you spend per month on cigarettes? What's that? I don't, I don't smoke cigarettes. I never have. So I don't know how much that is. Uh, but you know, sacrifice the cigarettes for one day if you can, or like at least taper off. Maybe instead of smoking, I don't know how the cigarette thing works. So like maybe instead of smoking 20 cigarettes a day, maybe just smoke 15 per day. And that gap, take that money and buy a few books, spend the time and get it done. Uh, P Patat Bax says, what car do you drive? I, I, I've owned two Porsches. I sold them both. Right now I Uber everywhere. Reason why is because cars for me have always been a big stress point. Like I remember when I owned my two Porsches, I would literally spend about 10 to 20% of my thought just in the background, just like, oh God, what's happening to my Porsche? Is it, do I need to start the damn Porsche up and drive around the block? Um, is, the, is the engine gonna fail? Is the, is the, the, nine, the 996 had this problem where the, there was a plug in there that could bust out at any time and all the oil would rush out of the engine and the engine would fry up and seize. The engine was like 30 grand to get replaced. So I'd be like, oh God, is the freaking engine gonna blow up at any minute? So um, right now I Uber everywhere. I don't. I, I live in a part of town where I can walk anywhere I want. I Uber. I fly. <laughs> it's weird. It's weird that we can do that now. Uh, cars don't really do it for me. I don't really care about cars anymore. I used to when I was younger. Like you, you want everyone to think that you're successful and you're like, look at me. I got my freaking Porsche. It is nothing but stress. Now maybe if you want to go make a lot of money online and buy a car, buy it. for all means. That that's what you want to do. You do that. Uh, man, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty hard today. I guess I'm just like in a grouchy mood. Um, yeah, do what you want to do. I mean, it's your money. Personally, I don't recommend that. What I'm doing is I'm, I'm banking cash to invest in pa more passive income so I can continue to do all this for the rest of my life. Like that's what makes me do what I do. That's what motivates me. I love not working for anybody. I love being able to wake up each day and be like, everything that I do today is for me. That is, there's no better way to get motivated than that. I know that there are like a lot of my friends out right now, they're making decent money. I mean, they went to college, they got a job. Um, they have like, I guess you could consider like top tier jobs, but everything they do is for someone else. So they're not improving every single day. They're driving to work an hour or two per day. Um, I know that no matter what, even if I'm lazy, even if I consider, even if I just do two hours of work today or one hour of work today, which is typically what I do, that two hours is for me. While they're, you know, they're working eight hours, 10 hours a day, they don't get anything but from that, any personal growth from that, except for a little bit of extra money at the end of the month. Let's see here. 
Raymond says, do you consider investor, have you considered investing in real estate? Yeah, that's one of the, that's one of the things I invest in. I'm going to invest in. I don't invest in that right now. I'm trying to learn more about real estate. It does seem like a little bit more work than I'm willing to put in. So right now, um, I've, I, I have a small percentage of what I, my, my net worth in the stocks. Um, I, I buy stocks like very stable ones, like Coca-Cola. That's one of my things. I have Apple stock. I do have a little bit of Amazon and Facebook. I wish I would have put a little bit more into that. Um, it was just a little bit too risky. As far as investing is concerned, I don't like to take risks with investments. I like to have stability and security. Slow growth is better than like a huge, huge run up for me. Uh, let's see. Our bonds headed out. Or let's see. Is it our, our, our Vind? It says bye, Dan. All right. Thanks for coming out. Good to see you. Uh, Phil says, can I pay with PayPal? No, I can't accept PayPal anymore. Ali says, Dan, your system is the best, worth every penny. Thank you, Ali. I'm glad you're finding value. He's talking about my Deadbeat Super Affiliate System. Glad I could help, Ali. Titan says, why don't you invest in PayPal? They don't, they don't allow make money online um, or business opportunity on their network anymore. So I can't, I, I, would, I would accept it if I could. They just don't allow it anymore. So give me, uh, Jonathan says, give me your uniform copy. This is an awesome brand. Thank you. Brent Carruthers says he ordered the Debbie Super Affiliate System. Congrats. Jump in, put, take, what's the weekend's coming up? What is it, Friday? So take my Debbie Super Affiliate System, build your first campaign today. So you got Monday, you got Friday, Saturday. If, it, if that means you gotta stop, going, you know, whatever you do during the weekends, like sacrifice. I, I say this all the time, but you can do a lot in two days. You can do something in two days to change your life, or at least put your life on a better trajectory from that point forward. So it's worth just sacrificing a couple days if you have to. If that's what it takes, I promise you. When you look back a month from now, or even four or five, six months from now, you're gonna you're gonna just thank yourself for spending two days investing in yourself, build, learning the ropes. And making making your life a little bit better, like sacrificing a little bit today, and knowing six months from now you're gonna look back at this two days that you spent, and you're gonna thank yourself. I can't tell you how many how many times I've been like, man, I'm so glad that two years ago I sacrificed that one week where I I, I instead of doing fun, you know, like, instead of going and hanging out with all my friends and wasting time, that one week where I decided to stay in and build something for me, it's still paying off to this day. It's built. It's built uh, a foundation for me to build off of. That is the, one of the most powerful feelings in the world. Uh, Code Boy of the Day says, am I going to do a video about launch jacking? Yeah, that's actually, I forgot to do that video. I'll do a launch jacking video. That's basically what that means is you, you, you capitalize on the momentum from a product launch. You build a campaign around it, like a review campaign, and you try to get off of that. Uh, and, and, you, and you bank off that surge of launch, a buzz. So that's what launch jacking is. I'll talk about that. <laughs> Jacob says Dan needs to launch his own robe and sock line. I'm actually, uh, I am building a, an e-store, a Deadbeat Super Affiliate e-store. That's going to be one of the products. Uh, a, uh, Aravind says really disappointed in you, Dan, not buying your course. I'm, you know, whatever, dude. Like I, I can't answer all your questions. I'm trying my bet, my best. I mean, like there are uh, hundreds of people here. I've answered some of your questions. Sorry, man. Like whatever. I really do not need the money. I, I I'm trying my best, man. I'm just in a grumpy mood today. I usually don't, I'm not usually not like this. Um, like, dude, I'm trying my best to answer all everyone's questions here. Is this literally? It's literally. I'm sorry. You know what, what? What can I do? Let's see. Jacob says, "Oh my God, yay!" <laughs> uh, okay. Edgar says, "What do you think about co-works, uh, co-working spaces?" Uh, I've actually I've wanted to do this. It's just not my style. I mean, I had an office at one point. I, I bought an office. I spent like 15 grand on it one year. I went to it twice, and I was like, "All right, <sighs> you know, like this is not for me." I tried the whole office thing. It was just it was too much work. I, I didn't like it. Uh, so it's up to you if you're that type of person. 
it, it can work. Glock 22 says, Arvind, it's your loss. I agree. You know, whatever. I mean, I'm trying my best here, guys. I, I, uh, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm only one guy. There's literally like hundreds of people on right now. Was it like a hundred? How many people are on? Uh, I can't, I can't see right now. It's a lot. Okay. Oh man, I just can't keep up with the questions here. Okay, here we go. This is a good one. Armand says, Dan, someday I get a lot of traffic on website, but someday very less. Is it normal? Yeah, so that's just how it works. It's just, it's spiky. This is how any kind of business, it's any kind of business is never, like this is why a lot of people quit because they think it's going to be the slow, steady grind at the top. It's really not. So the way it works is like one day you're going to make a lot of money. Next day it's going to drop down. You're going to make a little bit. But slowly but surely, it, it does kind of eventually, if you keep going with it, it does kind of over time become if you if you take the average of the growth it does kind of have this steady growth it's just that it's like this like that so this this is typical don't like just try to think about it. the way i look at it is last month am i getting more traffic than i did the month before so it's i just look back am i doing better than the month before yeah that's the way i look at it Phil says, I pay, I pay the 17, looks great investing in you. Dan, no, that's, you're investing in yourself. It's a good program. I mean, that's what you need to do to start. My dad beats super affiliate system. Uh, congrats, by the way, I'm taking the leap. Oh, man. Reverse Magic says, what do you think about writing website content on your cell phone? Oh, my God, dude. Like, you're just asking for a lot of work there. I would not do that. Now, you could outsource everything from your cell phone. Like you could jump on some outsourcing sites and take a little bit of time to work uh, to type all that in there. But I would do that. You could do that. Lunatic says, who else is stressing over content? Content creation is a little bit of, uh, initially it's a little bit of a shocker. But it's a skill. It's a valuable skill. It's worth it's worth learning. It's worth, it's worth a little bit of a, a sacrifice. Someone says, Am I th "Will you ever become Batman?" Someone says, "I already am Batman." All right, thank you. I have a cool little I have a custom piece of artwork that I'm putting out right here. It's taking a while for it to be built. I can't wait to show you guys that. It's real. It's super deadbeat deadbeatish. It costs a lot of money. It's gonna show up right here. Custom made. One of the top artists out there. It's so sweet. Okay. Armand says, do you consider travel around the world since you have a lot of money? Um, so like basically what I'll do is I work my travel into my conferences because a lot of conferences are all over the place. I just do it then. I write it off. And it's valuable because everyone usually hangs out afterwards. We can just travel around and do fun stuff and network at the same time. Arvin says, been following you on YouTube since a few weeks. Type my question in 50 times and start, but my negative comment took your attention. Dude, like I, I, I'm trying. I'm trying, man. Just um, keep typing it. Uh, just keep typing. Like I don't want to lose you as a subscriber, but like if you're gonna try to be all negative about it, I mean it's just I, I got a lot to do, dude. Um, Ali says Dan is my login to my purchase time limited. Uh, it's it's a you you log in it's there forever, but I recommend you at least download the videos. Uh, Jake says uh, Dan you should get a fish tank in your office. Oh, don't even get me started on the fish tank. Oh my god, I still have nightmares about that. Uh, I had this I had this goldfish tank. It was like 60 gallons. There was five five small fish in there. I accidentally killed them all. Uh, one of them had oh man. I still think about this every day. I had these fish, man. They were these beautiful goldfish. And one of them had this like infection. So I bought this chemical to kill the infection. I put too much in and I ended up killing all the fish. Oh man, I wait and I woke up one day. They were all floating to the top of the tank. I, I literally to this day every day. I still like I want to puke over that Goldfish are the hardest pet to, to take care of by the way harder the heart literally harder than dogs the dog tells you what it needs Cat tells you what it needs fish. Don't, they can't tell you what it needs. So you're in there guessing like oh, no by the way, yeah, talking about fish, fish tank is a good niche. Absolutely. I, ha I had a site on that. 
tropical uh, it was it was t- tropical fish tank dot net was it? And then I killed the fish and I was like, oh, all right, no more fish tank stuff for me. I'm done. Like how am I gonna how am I gonna make an affiliate site on fish uh, running fish? I just killed five of them in a second. Like no more fish for me. Okay. Still, I literally to this day I, I feel bad about that. <laughs> Ugh, they were beautiful. Let's see. No, there's that. That is a huge niche. Fish, um, tropical fish, saltwater fish tank, uh, goldfish. All these are very, very big niche uh, niche markets. People super uh, rabid about it. Mike says, "Love your channel. I'm a truck driver and listen to you every time you come on." Thanks, Mike. Thanks for listening. Uh, Armand says, "Is the market for pregnant women good?" Absolutely. Anything to do with babies is huge. I should have said. I should have added that to my list. That's a big one. K3 says, "I should I put my site together with all the content before I publish it?" No, you're gonna want to actually publish it day by day. Don't, um, you don't want to like think, oh, when I get 10 pages of content, I'm going to release the perfect site. Just start now, build it up slowly but surely. Okay. So Arvin, here's your question. He says, how do I know if a niche is saturated? So I cover this in my Deadbeat Super Affiliate System. Basically what I do is, I don't believe in saturation, by the way. I'm all, my skill is I know how to create like a very unique thing and, and grow outwards that way. Um, but just look on Google, look on YouTube, see if millions and millions of people are doing it. But I, 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 don't, I don't let that stop me. That's why I don't talk too much about saturation. When I see a bunch of people in a market, what that tells me is that a lot of people are making a lot of money. So if I see a, a saturated niche, I'm like, boom, there's some money to, get, to make right there. Titan Solera says, I should change my name to Deadfish Super Affiliate. Oh, man. Thanks. Thanks for that. Thanks for reminding me. The Dead Fish Super Affiliate. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny and wrong at the same time. Uh, Peter says, when's a good stuff? Oh, good time to start promoting X, X, uh, Christmas stuff right now? Honestly, the, the right time to do it is probably beginning of September, end of uh, August. You can still, you, sh- you should be able to make it in. All right, uh, Arvon, Arvon, Arvin says, thanks, Dan. All right, I made Arvin happy. Good. I feel a little bit better now. I think I was a little bit too, too hard on him. Um, Ar- okay, Ar- this is a good question. Uh, Armin says, sometimes I think my niche has lots of competition. Too many blogs of average Joes on the first page. That's actually a good thing. So what's that, what, that's, what that is telling you is that it's an av- if an average Joe is on the front page, all you need to do is do just a little bit better, and you can get on the front page too. What's what worries me is when I see on the like the first thirty, uh, the the first like thirty results is all like high, uh, um, corporate sites that are entrenched in. That's a bad sign. Now it doesn't mean that you can't you can't get in there. There's always ways to get you know to sneak in. But if if you see on the first page a bunch of average Joe blogs or average Joe sites. That's time to jump in. That's what you want to see. So, yeah, that's a good thing. The, the Reddit rabbit says, holy, I've never heard you laugh, and I follow you for a half a year. <laughs> yeah, I'm in a grumpy yet, uh, uh, what's the word? Jovial, is that it? Did I use the right word, jovial? No, I don't know, what does that mean, jovial? Definition. Hey, that is right. All right. That's a weird uh, weird little combination of traits there. Okay. Uh, let's see. Armand says, thanks. That motivates me. Yeah, just go for it, dude. I, I, I My support guy's on it, by the way. I just, uh, you're, what, you must have, uh, email must have got by. I literally, if you saw me typing on there, I was really telling, I was literally telling them to uh, check out your email. Just the way it works, like once you start, I, 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 the problem, here's the problem that most business owners have. All right. This is nothing to do with what I talked about today, but when you start growing fast, you need to, you need to, you need to start focusing on moving the ship forward. Now, what happens is that as you start growing, you get more customers and you need to stay in contact with your customers. But as far as being able to scale up, 
you need to start delegating stuff to other people. So I'm transitioned from doing all the support myself manually to having other people handle it for me. So this way I can focus on creating more videos and also doing these live streams so I can stay in touch. It's just that you have to start delegating outwards and because of that, sometimes things fall through the cracks. So if, I, if, support, if you miss the support response, just let me know and I can then get my support guy to look at it. Um, I, I can no longer one by one answer emails. It's just not feasible. I, I don't have enough time in the day, enough hands. So I have, I've, I'll have other people handling tech support for me. I still do all the coaching myself. I still do this content, uh, um, interacting with everybody here. It's just that when you start scaling up, it's, all, it's literally impossible to do it uh, all, all manually. Okay, I don't know what that, I don't know if that, um, I don't know, I don't know if that helped anybody. That just, I'm, I'm, I'm trying my best here, guys. Uh, Legia says, Dan, I know you're all about affiliate marketing. What do you think about drop shipping? Uh, drop shipping's great. I mean, there, I know a lot of people making a ton of money to, uh, about it, uh, with it. I personally don't do drop shipping. I've been learning a lot about it though. Over the last uh, month, I've been trying to branch out a little bit with what my what I learn. Uh, one of those things is e-commerce, drop shipping, and pay traffic. So, I'm, like, in order to serve you guys the best, I need to start learning, go branching off a little bit more. So, um, yeah, I don't know what that doesn't mean anything. All right, code board of the day, Dan. What are you gonna do during the hundred K subs to give a giveaway? I'm actually going to. I'm certain. I'm going to do a contest pretty soon to 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 um, push towards 100k subs. I'll start that up a couple days or so. All right, guys. I just realized I have some training I have to get to. We went way over. Crap. I missed it. I think I missed half of it. Uh, so with all that said, guys, thanks for coming out. Uh, if you haven't, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hit that bell icon. Uh, share this video with your friends. Comment below. Thanks for coming out. I know this is a little bit rough today. A little bit of a grumpy mood. It happens. Uh, thanks for everyone for showing up. If you need any help, uh, just let me know. Comment. I'll take care of it. All right, Deadbeats. My name is Dan Brock, the Deadbeat Super Affiliate. And I'll see you, Deadbeats, later.